Pro AI has an amazing cue point feature that allows you to label and color coat your cue points so you know exactly what's going on as soon as you load up the track. Now to find your cue points, if you're in classic mode, we're going to go down here to the bottom right. And then the first one is going to be narrow mix. The second one is going to be your cue points. So that that is how you access your cue points. And then if you are in pro mode, if you prefer that, then it's going to be the same symbol down here. But I'm going to do it in classic mode because the cue points are a little bit bigger. Now, when it comes to cue points, you should develop a system that works for you. Remember, you're the only one that's going to see these cue points. Same thing with playlist. So make something that works for you and it doesn't matter what system you choose the most important part is you use the same system for every track so that you don't get confused and you know exactly what's going on so i'm going to show you guys my system and you can modify and adjust it to your dj style and the music that you play so the first thing that i would recommend you do with every song that you load into your playlist is mark where you're going to mix in and where you're going to mix out so this way, as soon as you load up the track, you know exactly where you're going to want to mix in and you know where you're going to mix out. So you don't have to be listening through your headphones and trying to figure that out. You already know what it is. So you could just smoothly play the music. For the cue point, the first cue point that you're going to mark as start, find a point in the track where, the, where it makes sense for you to start it. So some songs might have like a weird intro. Like this one, this is a song I had made for me. Some of them have an intro that people really won't know what it is and it might be a little bit weird. So find a spot in the song where you would want to start it. So for me, with this song, I'm just going to start it right here where it like really gets going. So that's where I'm going to start the track. So now you're going to see when you first mark the cue point, it is going to give you a random color. And then it is just going to say that time in the track how many seconds or minutes in the track you set the cue point so this one is at 22 seconds let's say if i just randomly go over here and add one that's at two minutes and 29 seconds we have our cue point it's marked in red because it randomly chose red but if we want to change that this is what we're going to do it's a little confusing but i'm here to help we're going to go to the top right up here this little pencil symbol this symbol represents a way to edit things within the app we are going to press that and then you'll see this X comes up. So we could delete it. Let's say you put it at the wrong spot or you want to change where, where you put it. Then you can delete it. Or there's a hidden drop down menu. It may not be obvious. But when you press it, this little hidden arrow pops up. And then we get this screen. This is the screen to customize our cue points. So it just says cue point one. Let's change that to start. And then for me, I live in the U.S., so green means go, red means stop. So I am going to mark it green. I am colorblind, so I don't know the difference between green and yellow. But let's just go with this one. So the green is where I'm going to start it. So anytime I load up this song, if I eject the song, load it back up, that cue point is going to be there. It's always going to be there as long as you're on the same device in this, the DJ Pro AI app. Next one is going to be end. So where would I want to end this track? Let's just say for this example, I'll start mixing out right over here where it starts winding down. So I'm going to choose right here to end this track. And then now for end, obviously I'm going to write end. And then I'm going to mark it in red. So as soon as I load up this track, I see the green one up here is going to be where I'm going to start and the red one over here. And remember, if you're using a RGB controller, a controller that has RGB performance pads, it is going to match up with what's on your screen. And it's really cool. And then you don't even have to look at your iPad or the device you're DJing on. You can just see on your controller where your cue points are. So you get eight of these cue points. We've only covered two. What are you going to do with the rest of them? What I would recommend is one idea. If you're doing EDM songs with a drop, you could go find where the first drop is. This really isn't an EDM song, but I'm just using it as an example. Find where the first drop is and then do drop one. 
whatever color you're going to assign for your drops, do that for drop one. And then we could do, let's just say this was drop two over here. Drop two. So now we know where our drops. So we could do a drop swap. We could go from, instead of going from the first song, we could go, for, instead of going from the first drop, we could go to the second drop. And then that's a good way to speed up the track. And we know exactly what's going on. We got our start, our end, and our drops. That's how I set it up. I usually use at least four of these cue points. And then if I'm in a rush or I don't think I'm going to play that song that much, I'll just do the start and the end. But in all of my custom-made playlists, if you, I made a lot of videos on how to make playlists, you guys could check that out. But on all of these playlists, every song in this playlist is marked with at least a start and stop cue point. Whenever I do my music discovery and discover a new song and decide to put it in a playlist, the first thing I do is add these cue points. You don't want to load. You don't want to ever load up a song when you're DJing live without having the cue points marked. Unless maybe you take get a request and you take a request and you play something that you don't plan on playing. And here is a hack on, on what to do if that happens. If you're playing a song that you didn't make your cue point, DJ Pro AI has this cool hidden feature where if you go to an the other deck, so this deck has this song, you hold in the music select button, don't press it, hold it in, and then you get this, you get load next double scra scratch tool Shazam. We're gonna do double. So now I have the same song on both decks and then we can listen to the other song, the song that we just doubled, listen to it in your headphones and then you can mark your cue points there, mark where you're gonna end the song so you know where you're gonna end it. So that's a way to do it if you weren't prepared. But the whole point of this video is making sure that you guys are prepared so that when you're DJing, you could just load up a song and go. And then now the way that these cue points work is when you hold them in, it's going to play. And then when you let go, it's going to stop playing. And then anytime, no matter what part in the song you are, if you press a cue point, that's why they're called hot cues, it's going to start playing from there immediately. So that's what the cue points do. And if you're getting confused with the this set and cue down here, these aren't hot cues, these are temporary cues. So you pick a spot in the song and you can set. And then if you press the one next to it, it's gonna play from the cue point you set. So if you go to a different spot in the song and then go back to replay, it's gonna bring you back there. But as soon as you press set at a different spot in the song, it's gonna stay there so these the bottom one is temporary cue points and the top ones these ones over here are your hot cues they're gonna stay there every time you load up the song they're ready to go so as long as you have your playlist and your cue points ready you don't have to focus as much you don't have to be typing around you could just dj let it flow out of you and have as much fun as the crowd is having with you so now that you know your cue points check out this video over here to make the perfect playlist 